We got an announcement. The dry week's coming up really quick. What do we got That's here? That's right. It's starting, week. actually, for the life of me, I can't remember which date it is. Oh. I know it's still technically February. Well, I've done my job. Yeah. <laughs> 26th. Okay. February 26th at noon yes. through March 5th at noon. Right. That's Friday to Friday. It's a dry week. Right. Now, we do dry week uh, three or four times a year for what reason? Uh, we would take an intentional break from consuming alcohol just to make sure there's no issues sneaking up on us there. Also, practically speaking, it's an excellent way to reset the palate. So obviously, this is like an optional thing. Yeah. Optional thing, but we invite everybody in the community to come join us for a dry week, mm -hmm. and we're going to hang out uh, with a bit of extra time we have, spending a little bit more time in the community uh, platforms there. And uh, yeah, what are you going to drink on the dry week there? I always drink tea. Should I mix it up this time? Yes, just switch it up. You should learn how to like smoothies. Oh, God. It's no, very that's, embarrassing. That is not going to happen. It's very embarrassing having a friend that doesn't like smoothies. No. <laughs> is it? It's very embarrassing. <laughs> For you. <laughs> And people, people like, Every you time know. you go to Juice King, they're like, oh, right. oh, you're the guy who knows, and you're like, yeah. yeah. Word hole double, doubles as food hole. Here's my smell hole. And the sound hole. I hate this. <laughs> I'm full of holes. You're out. <laughs> Bye, says my word hole. <laughs> Welcome to the Whiskey Bowl. Yeah, it's um... We made it. We, yeah, you guys aren't seeing these in the right timeline, but this is the first time we've really shot anything since the snow apocalypse. Yes, of 2021. 2021, yeah. Yeah, I got water uh, an hour before I had to come to work today. Yeah. It's good. It's good. The the he, the water heater hadn't kicked in yet. Uh, so, <laughs> but when you haven't taken a shower... You're like, come on. In many days, there is... There is <laughs> Quick! Shoot it on, shoot it on face, then balls. Yeah. But I was too rushed. I was too rushed. Too rushed. I was. Yeah. <laughs> wrong order. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's the wrong order. order. I guess with soap it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, so I'm. Go ahead. I'm gonna be nervous about February and March, maybe for the rest of my life, <laughs> because last year February and March is when COVID really shut everything down. Really. I gotta tell you. I gotta this take. year February and March. I gotta tell you. You know nothing will make you more okay with just a baseline pandemic level of life yeah than then the snow pockets. losing power and internet and water for a week yeah. in a single to see single digit temperatures yeah uh so really quick before we get started yeah thank you to two people because i think there was only one day across both of our channels mm -hmm. where we didn't have like a an actual episode. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was on Wednesday. It was on Wednesday. Yeah. Just an update video, a short update video saying what's going on. Fancy Dan on Whiskey Vault mm -hmm. and Alex on Whiskey Tribe, like remotely they were logging into their computers whenever they had internet and they had power and they're pulling stuff and they're editing stuff just to keep the content mm -hmm. flowing. Because if ever if, if there's any chance of us being able to do something, we're gonna try and do it. Mm -hmm. So Fancy Dan, Alex, those guys basically rocked it. And uh, if I was a kind person, I would say, hey, just take care of yourself. Just get comfortable. I said, no, you make some fucking video. <laughs> make some videos. <laughs> well, I uh, just relax. And my jacuzzi, my hot tub. Yeah, your oh, you have a hot tub now. Yes, I Why have. Where did you get it? Uh, my my jacuzzi. Yeah, jacuzzi. My that's that's worse. That's I don't have that. You, there you can only you can only shorten it so far before it gets wrong. Yeah, uh, it gets problematic. Yeah. Uh, so what do we get? Uh, that reminds me of a side that's irrelevant, but it's a similar situation. Uh, so this is technically the whiskey exchange. This is an online shop. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Th about once a year, they send us a present. Okay. They've never emailed me. Okay. They've never reached, reached out and said, could you promote us or talk about us? It's just once a year, yeah. randomly during the year, we'll get a card from the Whiskey Exchange. To Daniel and Rex, in deep appreciation for the de development of the weird science of whiskey. Yeah, oh. and it's just a random bottle. Thank you. And I can't tell if it's like... Bastard sending it in, the Whiskey Exchange doesn't label if it really is the Whiskey Exchange every time. Uh, well, they got the, the, the letterhead. Yeah, but it, it could be like, that's the gift card you can sign on this as a it's gift, a and we'll send a message. Like, but uh, sure. there's no name or anything other than that. So I'm assuming I've never that means they're reps. Okay. So, so it's they're, just... They're nice reps. Sure, I mean, but I mean, it's, uh, there's just basically, we don't have 
the ceremony is just like an awkward silence. Just wanna... Um, like crickets. It's like... It's a lovely note. Okay. You can't airplane. <laughs> I was in a hurry. Let's <laughs> blame it on that. I uh, haven't heard of this. What's so the deal? you haven't because, and I wanted to do this one because it was just going to be interesting to me, yes. and we can compare it to something that everybody can get. Oh, but this is uh, Capardonic. Capardonic. This was a distillery that opened, closed, opened, closed. The first time they opened and closed was right in the middle of what whiskey nerds know about the Patterson crash, uh, which was basically like a mar stock market crash on um, speculative whiskey ventures. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder if we're gonna have another one of those because you're even starting to see articles coming out saying, one of the safest, most profitable places to put your money is, is in whiskey, whiskey yeah, barrels. Well, um, I mean. Until they all fall down in a barrel house disaster. Um, anyway, so this distillery went online to create extra whiskey for Glen Grant, which you can get kind of all over the place. Yeah. Um, and they went into other blends, uh, in, including, I think, Chivas at one point later in their history. Yeah. Seagram's uh, owned them. And, and then at one point, because people were required to like distinguish between distillery locations, they renamed themselves Capardonic. Okay. This is 18-year-old peated Capardonic. I was about to say. Yeah. Because I'm looking, I just glanced at the back, it says Space Side. You put your nose in there. Yeah. I'm not in classic Space Side at all. No, this now, is... One, I'm, I'm like 99% sure we're mispronoun mispronouncing the name. Probably. This, the, the secret to pronouncing these things correctly is you just like, throw, in, throw in a lot of... Uh, Cabernet. Yeah. Cabernet. A lot, a lot of mumble. Cabernet. A lot of consonants. Cabernet. 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 And people, they can't, under they can't understand. <laughs> you right there? You had me at coos. <laughs> I'm loving the nose, though. Yeah, oh, yes. It's a beautiful nose. It's almost briny, but it's not Isla. Oh. Ooh. Like, for me, it's got all the orange, zesty, citrus notes yeah. that I like in, like, an Oban or, like, a Kregeliki. I find a little bit of citrus. Yeah. Um, there, there's um, some forest quality oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. Like, damp forest air. Oh, yeah. It just makes me think of walking, like walking around the Pacific Northwest in the, like the national parks. Mm -hmm. God, I I really hope it lives up to this nose. Oh, I know. It's a forty-eight. No, wait, yeah, forty-eight percent, forty-eight percent ABV. Oh, there's a beautiful nose. How have I not heard of this whiskey? Because they didn't really. I mean, they were open really short windows, and most of their stuff went into other brands and blends. Ah, oh, man. And now they closed in 2002, right? So, uh, Chivas owns these guys. Okay. So they just, they're doing some releases. Or they did when this was bottled anyway. So, Peated Space Oh, Side. guess what happened to the old, well, we'll taste it first. Peated Space Side. Oh, man. It's more peated on the taste. It is, but I really like that. Yeah. So basically, if you're into peated whiskey, this is going to get you there. <clears throat> this is more peat than anything else. It is. It is. And it's, I wonder what, how it compares to Belvaney's Peat Week because it feels pretty damn peaty. I, so if I recall correctly, one of the things we noticed about whenever th these other Scottish regions who are not historically doing peat smoke with their, with their whiskey, I, whenever they have like a Belvaney Peat Week, or I guess in this case, the it seems like. They the, go all in. They go all in. It seems like these guys, they usually have a very specific pro profile and then they have the opportunity to do something peaty. It's like the hand, the gloves are off. Mm -hmm. it, you know, they just go all out. They crank the peat in there. I wasn't mm -hmm. expecting that much peat on the, like from the nose than I got on the right. taste. It really just explodes on the taste. So way more fruit and citrus. The Belvani is way more malt, vanilla, and earth. Oh yeah, it's like um, dark chocolate. It's like a soft vanilla too. Yeah, it's not artificial. Whereas this one's all fruit notes in the but, middle. By the caramel melon. Yeah, yeah. Man, if you can believe it, the Peat Week Balvenie is actually more mild. Okay. Right. Yeah. The like Capernaunic Peat, even on the nose, compared yeah. to the Hampshire. Yeah. The Balvenie is much more tame on the. Yeah, I never would have thought I would what have is, called Balvenie Peat Week subtle. What is the proof on the Bel Balvenie? 48. Oh, 48. yeah. 48.3. Yeah, but it is way more subtle and kind of soft touch. Yeah. 
And the camera, that's much more lively. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll grab you on the nose and on the palate. I'm gonna add a little water to this. You want some? Yeah, if you're gonna do go wait, aside, which one is your cup or not? These are hard for you right now. All right, so that was a meaningful amount of water. Well, it sounded like it, but it wasn't that much. Actually. It was meaningful. It was less than a third of a cap full. I measured. I didn't do drops. I did a tip. It was uh, a tipple. It's visual assessment. It's mm. very precise. Yeah. I think it woke up the the ashy earthiness more on the nose. Oh, it softens the palate, but still leaves it ashy on the end. It really like the ash is what woke up the most on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, smells rubbery. Mm. It softened and simplified the palate. Yeah. Um, really made it concentrated ashiness on the nose. I like it better without water. Me too. Um, and I, I think the side by side, as much as we were going like, oh man, Balvini, they really just went all out. Not compared to the Hermitterbaum. Yeah. Well, guess who owns the building that they made whiskey in? Forsyth. The, oh, the company that the makes stills. Maker, yeah. Yeah, that was their expanded building yeah. to increase production of stills. Are they like are they like the Rolls Royce of still makers? Ba I mean, ba they're like, yes, there are two of them that are basic, and they're one of them. Yeah. Because they, they make, you know, fantastic quality products. It's like products. Rolls Royce and Bentley. Yeah. And, and it's Vendome yeah. and Forsyth. It, they make fantastic quality products. Yeah. Um, and you pay a premium. Yeah, and you wait for years. Years. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, that was never really an option for whenever we got uh, our still making decision choice. Like, we're, we can't wait yeah. years. Okay. We can't wait years, and we can't. We, know we can't afford. We can't spend thirty times. Right. <laughs> uh, and now I'm going back to the Balvini after the water in the Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. I'm finding more more of that uh, rich vanilla on the mm -hmm. Balvini. I the actually Balvini, I like Balvini this Week. I do too because it's just so, so much more lively. Yeah. But if your priority is something that is just a little bit easier to play with. Mm -hmm. The Belvini Pete Week is gonna, that's gonna get you there. We got Neil Heath. Will it distill suggestion? Attempts to admit to make a corn whiskey from popped kettle corn. Yeah, because it's got sugar. Right, so the, the sugar will absolutely ferment. And, but after a corn has popped, will you still be able to pull sugars out of the corn? No, it'll probably just be the residual sugars on the outside. Sure. So just put the sugar in. Yeah. You think it'll carry any of the corn flavors? It might, yeah. Maybe. Absolutely. Uh, we got Bitmux. What makes a whiskey an old friend to you? Mm. I recently went back to one of my first favorite whiskeys, Johnny Walker Black. Mm. I'm still new to whiskey, by the way. I tried a grand total of maybe 10. Okay. I had, a nice pour e I had a nice pour evening, and I got what I think many of us refer to as that old friend sense. Mm. At present, I've only shared a glass with a friend a few times. Thanks partly to the recent, recent global unpleasantness. Yes, I like that. <laughs> Beyond memories, though, purely the scent and taste are familiar and enjoyable to me. When you drink a familiar old friend whiskey, mm -hmm. what does it bring back for you? In the comments, yeah, what, what kind of associations do you have with like your old friend? I had this conversation this week with somebody. Okay. And that's why I put that in there because, of, ah, this, this literally happened to me this week. Jameson. Yeah. Budget Jameson. Mm-hmm. To me, just I'm back on the road and touring and about to play a show. Right. Because James, Budget Jameson was my go-to sure. bar whiskey when I toured. Yeah. And so still to this day, I have a disproportionate fondness for Budget Jameson. Sure. Because when I sip it's All like, the associative memories. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. And you, you it, mentioned yours a couple it times. It was um, bullet bourbon. Right. It was bullet bourbon. Because uh, it had like some good, fond memories and poignant moments and blah, blah, blah. But I have had so much bullet and memories and experiences across all different types of bottling since then that it's like, okay, it's it's kind of been lost in the, the chat. The yeah. yeah, so like, oh, there, there's some good original memories with bullet, bullet but I've just, it's, such a, it's such a common thing. Right. That, um, yeah, still appreciate it. I like that idea, though. Yeah. What, uh, what good whiskey do you get fond memories with there and the things there? I feel like you want to take a shower again. Yeah, you're going to need to, just to warm up. Yeah. Just so Although, it's going to be 70 degrees today, well, if you can believe it. Yeah. And uh, by the way, suck it, Canada. Suck <laughs> it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, it had been so long since I took a shower. You ever have that moment when you were in like a hotel shower or you're at somebody's house and you get in there and you don't know how to... 
Oh, yeah, like to warm or cold or up or like right. I which, don't know which, which is the hot. It was yeah, my you old forgot. freaking shower. <laughs> and you had, you had to just close your eyes and just right. try to move from habit. Just muscle what, memory. See what your hands do. Right, because yeah. before I never thought about it. You just yeah. go in there and you do it and it's perfect. And But it's been so long. It's like, wait, what was I? <laughs> 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 All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, be a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's And heart. if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.